And as you can see, I have now unlimited monies. Hello everyone, it's me, Game Tracker from HackerBot.net, and today I'm gonna give you the idiot's beginner's guide for Cheat Engine, the number one game jacking tool on PC, of course, for PC games. And no, sir, of course, it does not mean that you, sir, are an idiot. It just means that most of you probably are, and if you're not, you need to let me know by giving the video a like, commenting down below, tell me that you're not an idiot, and that way I will know that you are, in fact, not an idiot. So, Cheat Engine, what is it, what does it do, how do you use it? Cheat Engine is a memory editor, allowing you to modify the game memory on your PC's RAM in order to change things about the game that you're playing. For example, giving you unlimited money, skill points, god mode, everything is possible using Cheat Engine in offline games. Very important to note before we get started, offline games are games that don't require the internet. If a game requires the internet, it's pretty, pretty dangerous to use cheat engine on that game so please don't do it you might get banned you need to uh, amass some experience first before doing that also uh, for those of you who have not installed cheat engine yet and haven't used it yet i recommend going to hackerbot.net the default installation of cheat engine will more than likely try to change your search engine your default search engine on hackerbot.net if you just google hackerbot or game hacks let's just do that game hacks uh jacks yaks um game hacks <laughs> um there we go you can download the version of cheat engine that does not require an installation you can just scroll down uh click the cheat engine icon not the cheat engine a apk that's for android uh cheat engine and download that version right there so how do you use it once you have installed it it's very simple actually all you have to do of course is you have to have a game that you want to cheat in um ideally that game would have a window mode to make it easier or you can just alt tab from cheat engine to the game and back so after that you want to start of course cheat engine and you want to click the little pc icon at the upper left corner this will allow you to hook cheat engine into the game to connect the two softwares in order to start your game jacking bonanza so that's what you're gonna do usually the icon that the game has will be the same icon that the process has that you want to connect to so you simply double click that or you click it and uh, click open in order to connect cheat engine to your game okay nice now we can scan the game for stuff as you can see i'm playing a little bit of a tower defense game right here it's very convenient because um, it automatically pauses when I alt tab, making uh, cheating a lot easier. It has a big, big money value up here that I can jack. It has also lives and other stuff that can be jacked. It's a very good example. So how do you do it? So very simple. Find a way to pause the game, go into a menu, whatever. Um, you, if nothing works for pausing the game, you can simply enable a speed hack in Cheat Engine, set it to zero, zero and that will freeze the game will pause the game in this case i don't have to do that but it's very useful uh, for example in a game where your money value always grows 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 grows, and you can't do anything about it you can't pause the game use a speed hack to pause the game so that the money value doesn't change and you can scan for it in peace so the way this works is you simply scan for the value that you like to jack in the game okay so if we look at our game right here my money right now is at 2000 and of course i would like to have nine 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 and not the german nine but the nine as a number let's scan for the money value right now so i've already done this um usually most often um it, you simply enter the um the value just go new new scan 2000 we enter the the money value as it is right now um, by default, the value type will be set to 4 bytes, and usually, in many cases, like 70% of cases, the value will actually be a 4-byte value, but in order to make sure that you find it for sure, especially the first time you're doing this and you don't know the actual value type in the memory, go for all under um, value type. 
This will maybe take a little bit longer to scan, but you are more likely to find the exact value. So let's scan for values that are at 2000 in our game memory. And as you can see, we have found 49. You might find 100,000 or more, multiple 100,000. Um, we need to narrow down this list usually. Very, very seldom you will come up with one or two values and, and just simply be able to change that. But in this case, we have 49. That's too many. We can't change them all. If we changed them all, uh, that will probably crash the game. So let's not do that. So how do we narrow down the list? We simply go to the game and we spend some money. If you're trying to do skill points, spend some skill points or acquire new ones. Um, you want to hack your health? Uh, just take some damage or heal up or whatever. So I'm just going to build some towers, just some random ones, just to get the money value down a little bit. Okay, now we are at 1550. What we do now in order to narrow down this list, we're going to scan among these values that were previously at 2000. We're now going to scan for the ones that have now decreased to 1550. So simply 1550 next scan there we go we have come up with two now if you still have too many values you simply repeat this process okay i'm just going to demonstrate let's say you still have 50 values you just simply build more stuff now it's at 1250 and you repeat that process 1250 until you have somewhere between until the, the the amount of values stops decreasing okay sometimes you have four corresponding values usually it's one or two in this case it's two corresponding values sometimes it's more okay but you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to take these two values and take them down into this list you can either do this one by one by clicking the red arrow like this for each one or you can select them both and then press the red arrow now we have them twice that's not ideal let's delete those okay so down here in this window you have the values on your watch list so to speak okay the important ones that you select and now you can do the magic to them okay so what are you going to do you're going to select them both or if they're if they're four you're going to select them all uh, by simply clicking holding down shift and then clicking the last one and then you're gonna right click change record value and now you can simply enter whatever number you want i'm not gonna go too high too high, going too high might crash the game so nine 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 million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine it's a tongue breaker there we go let's see whether what the value in game has done okay it has not updated yet let's just build something and as you can see i have now unlimited monies for all practical purposes because um i can only build so many towers so i'm just gonna build all the towers many many cool towers in order to defend my property here you know it's like in the usa when people want to invade you uh you have the right to to stand your ground and and you know uh, shoot people using your tower defense towers and that's basically it. And now we can just play the, let the play, the game play itself. We have unlimited money, okay? And that is the basic concept of how Cheat Engine works. Now, Cheat Engine has other beautiful um, features, such as, as I've said, speed hacks. I like to use those. Um, for example, if the game is too slow for, for you, in my case, it's too slow, you can set a speed hack of 2.0 that will make the game twice as fast let's just apply that resume the game and now everything is faster you can also if you are so inclined set hotkeys for that you can go to settings and then you can go to hotkeys and i have a bunch of hotkeys i have a hotkey to slow the game down um, i have a hotkey to speed the game up times two i have a hotkey to speed the game up times five I have all kinds of hotkeys. I have a hotkey to go back to a speed hack of 1, which is just normal speed. Then I have one to slow it down by 0.5. You can set that all up. Any key, you can basically map to any kind of speed hack, which is very, very useful, especially in games like shooters, where you want more re time to react to stuff, more time to aim, more time to do this and that. You can also, but this is very risky, freeze the process. There's also a a um, setup that you can do to actually freeze the process 
Um, in, in some cases, this might be a, a useful thing. But anyways, that, it's, it's going too far, basically, at this point. So this is what Cheat Engine does. It allows you to um, get unlimited money, unlimited health. Um, you can also, if you're so inclined, if you don't know the actual value of what you're trying to hack, for example, um, if, if, if you just have a health bar, for example, let's just say, let's make a new scan and go for, a, uh, instead of exact value, go for an unknown initial value, okay? So if, for example, you don't know how much health you have, you only have a bar, you can use this in order to scan for an unknown uh, initial value, okay? Uh, a new scan, unknown initial value, and you can do a scan. Uh, this will come up with a lot of values, as you can see, in this case, 162 million values. And um, this might take a lot of time. But if you don't know what exact value the thing is that you're trying to jack, that is a very good solution. Um, at, at that point, what you would do if it was, for example, a health bar, you would take some damage and you would then go for um, decreased value. If you know by how much exactly the value decreased, let's say you took 25 damage, you could then go by decreased value by 25. And of course, I'm not doing that right now, but let's just try it. Oh, actually there are values that have been decreased by 25 and you can narrow down that way. Okay, maybe after you take 25 damage, you heal up for 25 and then you could go to increased value by 25 and try to narrow down stuff like that. Anyways, guys, um, there are many, many more beautiful things that you can do using memory editors such as Cheat Engine, but, thi but this is basically the, the, um, the mainstream function that it's used for. It's creating money hacks for games where money hacks or um, cheat tables, for example, don't exist. Cheat tables, by the way, are also very useful. They will basically turn Cheat Engine into a trainer. If you guys don't know what a trainer is, it's a tool that automatically hacks the game for you. The way you would find cheat tables for Cheat Engine uh, for any game, for, uh, for example, is go to hackerbot.net. Again, just Google hackerbot or game hacks. Go to hackerbot.net, go to our find free cheats tool. And here you can just simply enter whatever game you're trying to find a cheat table for. Let's say uh, Binding of Isaac, which is a, a beautiful game for PC. Um, and we would enter cheat table. And we, you will be able to find cheat tables for the Binding of Isaac. Basically, these are .ct files that you can simply download and then um, use in Cheat Engine. Let's just see whether we find one right now. Uh, this is not what we're looking for. Um, let's go to this one. All right, I downloaded the trainer through a different browser, and now the way this would work if you were using a CT file is you go to Cheat Engine, you simply drag your trainer in here. Um, now we don't need to save those. Wish to merge? No, okay. And then you have these trainer options that you can simply activate and de deactivate. Of course, this is a trainer for the binding of Isaac. It's not going to work. But in this case, um, the way uh, cheat tables work, you would simply enable invulnerability, unlimited red hearts, unlimited coins, and so on. And it basically functions like an automated game jacking software, which is awesome. Anyways, guys, Cheat Engine is the best game jacking software on PC by far. There is really no competition whatsoever. Again, the way you download a version that doesn't change your default search engine is by simply going to hackerbot.net, just game hacks, going to hackerbot.net, uh, scrolling down, going to the cheat engine icon right here and downloading from here. It will be in a zip file. You can simply unpack that and you will have a no install version of Cheat Engine, allowing you to use this awesome software. By the way, it's 100% clean, no viruses, no nothing. The only problem with it is that it tries to, you know, they, they need to make money, so it changes your search engine and they make some money off of that. And uh, for some people, that's not ideal. They also have a Patreon where you can subscribe and download the version without the changing of search engine, which, hey, if you want to support the software, please do. Anyways, guys, that is it from me. 
Um, this is how you use Cheat Engine, and it is definitely the best tool you can use to jack the games and also to learn game jacking. If you want to learn more about game jacking in general, go to hackerbot.net, go to Learn Cheating. You'll find all the articles on why uh, jacking the online games is, uh, is more difficult, why most of the stuff you'll find on Google, all the generators and things, are all fake and why you shouldn't trust them. You'll find a lot of information about aimbots, the legal side of all of it, money, cheats, everything on hackerbot.net in our learning section. Anyways, guys, that is it for me. I hope you've learned something. Give the video a like if um, it helped you. And also, again, um, this is an idiot's guide. If you don't like the video and if you don't subscribe, I'm sadly, I'm sadly gonna have to assume that you're an idiot. Anyways, guys, I love you guys. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Game Jack Rap!